Hi, I'm Linda from Paper Boutique with Linda.com. I love envelope makers and so enjoy using my Martha Stewart scoreboards and my score pals to make envelopes. In fact, I've made several videos about these products that are on my YouTube channel. When We Are Memory Keepers sent me their new envelope punch board, I jumped for joy and just had to make a video. This is the quickest envelope maker ever. Well, first I'm gonna talk about some of the features of this new product, and then we'll go ahead and make an envelope. It sells for $19.95, and what I really like is the compact size, and let me just show you a quick measurement. It measures about 10 and a half inches by about, oh, seven and a half, so it's really compact. There's also a place for the bone folder, and I, you just store it in there. The nice thing is there are directions on the front. Let me move this up just a little. There are directions on the front, and there's also what we call a reverse punch. And I'm gonna hold it up, and here's the reverse punch. The nice thing about the reverse punch, I'll show you how it works with an envelope, but you can use it as a corner rounder by just inserting the paper right in there and punching it, and it makes a perfect corner rounder. So it double. I'm hoping you can see that, it doubles as a corner rounder. Well, before we make an envelope, there are a few things I want to keep in mind about this new product. I didn't try all of the sizes listed on the board. I'm gonna be demonstrating the most common size, and that is an A2 envelope, which fits a four and a fourth by a five and a half inch card. If you purchased the original punch board, there were several errors on various sizes. I think there were over eight errors. And We Are Memory Keepers fixed the errors and they included with this one a sheet or a new sticker that you just peel off and put on. And I already went ahead, so this is the correct sizes, there's the card size, the paper size, the score line, and I'll tell you what that means. So you may, I'll pause for just a second so you can see a close up of the correct dimensions. And if you happen to get one with the wrong sizes that were printed and they don't match these directions, go ahead and go to We Are Memory Keepers website and you'll see a list of the correct sizes as well. So I wanted to make sure that you, you knew about this. The other thing I wanted to tell you is when I first saw the A2 size listed here, and I'll, I'll, it says four and a half by five and a half A2. And I thought, oh my goodness, there's an error. So I contacted We Are Memory Keepers, and they said they designed this envelope punch based on half inch increments. So the specialty card sizes like the A2 and the A6, et cetera, are based on the envelope size that is the closest fit. And we'll make that particular size. I'm gonna go ahead and make it, but I just wanted you to be aware, and this is what will, will happen. This will be the four and a fourth by five and a half inch A2 card, and then this will be the envelope. Now it's a little bit larger, and I just wanted you to be aware. Some of you are, are fine with that. Others want an envelope that's more precise. So I wanted to make you aware of that. And then, I'll show you after we finish this, a six by six card. So the first thing you do with this fun paper punch, and I do love it, is you pick out your card size. And I'm going to go to this A2 size, which is four and a half by five and a half. And I encourage you, if at all possible, that you view this video in HD quality. It'll be a little easier to see. And what it says here is to go ahead and cut your paper eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth and score it the three and three quarters inch line. And accuracy is very important with this particular product. So what I did is I went ahead and cut this at eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth. And then if you look here again for the A2, it says to score on the three and three quarters inch line. And right here, it says three and three quarters. And I'm gonna pull out my bone folder. 
And this is where you have to be very careful as well. There's a, a score line here, and if you line up your bone folder just right in here, you can kind of feel the line. And I just go ahead, and sometimes I'll actually start from this edge until you get a real feel for it. And I'm not sure that you can see that line. And then all you do, I'm hoping you're able to see that, is you'll line that line up with this little lever right here. And make sure that this lever, I'll point to it, is right in the middle of that line. And then you're gonna punch it. And after you punch it, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna score. And see, I came right out of that line. You don't wanna score too deeply, it will tear it. You're gonna repeat the same process line it up into the middle, punch it while it's there. Go ahead and do the scoring and I go over it but I'm very gently. Line it up, punch it while it's there. Go ahead and make your last score line and then turn it and then center it. And so you'll have something that looks like this, and then you'll just go ahead and fold it along each, each of the edges. And let me show you just so we don't go over time here. Here's one, and I marked it that I scored it at the three and three fourths. And now you can just go ahead and add your adhesive. But I wanna show you one more thing. Some people do not like this little edge here, and an easy trick that I do is I just use this as a straight edge, hoping you can see that. I just line it up with the edge here and here, and then I just score it. And then all I'll do is just fold it down, and you could put a piece of tape there, or you could trim it, and then you'll have a nice finished envelope. Okay, then lastly, I wanna show you a six by six envelope. I tend to make a lot of six by six cards. And when you're doing a six by six envelope, you're not going to have that extra piece showing. And I found that the six by six envelope is a lot closer to the actual size of the card. It's not perfect, but it, it's almost perfect around each side. Well, I would like to, let me bring the machine back in. I would like to, oh goodness, one more thing before I, before I close. The last step will be taking the point here. I think I rounded, no, I didn't. Go ahead and take the point of the envelope, put it in your corner rounder, and punch it. And that's the last step of the process. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching and please visit me at paperboutiquewithlinda.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.